good morning. morning. Here we are, we're on our way now to um, some place. <laughs> up north from um, the sanctuary. It's about two hours north uh, of the sanctuary. Um, we're going to pick up a little goat. She has been, um, she's, she's a refugee from the dairy industry. Um, She's had a few problems. She's turned up at this lady's house. Just turned up, just found her. Um, so anyway, the, where we're picking her up from, the lady has been um, giving her some sort of like immediate uh, medical attention. She's got a few little scrapes and uh, bruises and cuts and things like that, which uh, she's been treated for. Um, and she's just been sort of like guarding her for us and we're on our way to pick her up now and she's going to come and live at the ridge so got on the road at about half five this morning and um got to try and do it all before it gets too hot so the the aim is to be back at the sanctuary with the goat before 10 o'clock this morning um and then um we can get her settled into a quarantine area that's already prepared so here we go Okay, so we've got the goat. Um, we are now trying to find a petrol station because we do not have a lot of fuel left and we're in the middle of nowhere where there's no petrol stations. So that's our next mission. Um, but on the bright side, the views are amazing up here. Yeah, I'm concentrating on the curves. This is a very <laughs> it's a very bendy road, twisty road, and I've got the little girl in the back, and uh, I just don't want to throw her around too much. Um, but she looks okay. She's got her this poorly leg, uh, but they were saying that when they got her, she was very very low energy and you know very sort of sad. Uh, but since they've had her and they've been giving her the medication and she's on the antibiotics, she's st every day she's getting stronger and stronger and she's getting happier, so that's good. Um, and she's quite strong on her feet now, so I think it's right. She's sort of good to travel. Um, just, uh, just don't want to throw her around too much in the back of this uh, horse box. So. Go 
back out that way. Yeah, probably better. Okay, ready? Wait. It's okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Hold on. Come on there. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Yeah, another one, another one, that's it, and then another one, keep coming, come on, there you go, hey, right, almost home, come. hey, 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 okay, whoop, it's okay, okay, it's fine actually, I mean she's had a long journey obviously, <laughs> yeah, come and see her, So she's got to be on these um, antibiotic injections. Este es el callo tiene aquí. Y tiene un buen callo. Sí. Es que tiene la venda, ¿vale? Vale. Un callo. ¿Qué te huele? ¿Está agua? No, no. Las moscas hijas de puta. Mira, déjala para atrás, María. Esto es aquí. Pero allí. Hey, so the vets have been to do a checkup on the new goat, and what they've found is that the wound is very good, it's very clean, there's no signs of infection, but they found that there is no articulation in that joint. So it basically means that the joint has fused. Um, so it's likely some sort of trauma, um, which then caused a break and it hasn't healed correctly. Um, so she can get about okay. She's um, putting weight on the foot. She jumps up on her stable door. She's quite um, spirited, quite content. So we don't believe she's in um, any great deal of pain. It's more a bit of discomfort um, when she's walking. Um, so we are going to keep her in quarantine for a little bit longer just to make sure that she's okay before we introduce her to our existing herd of goats. Um, she is quite underweight and um, she is a little bit um, fussy with food so we want to make sure that we can get her to gain weight um, because if she doesn't it could indicate another um, underlying problem and she's going to have more anti-inflammatories and antibiotics and we're changing the dressing every day keeping it clean keeping the flies off of it and we'll keep you updated on how she goes thank you very much to our vets pedro and maria for doing the checkup on her and we just want to say thank you so much to all of our supporters and of course to the people who rescued her um alicia aurora and tony gave her the first um, few weeks of intensive care and yeah found a place for her where she could live um, life without fear for the rest of her days um, so thank you so much thank you for watching please remember to hit the like button subscribe all of that jazz and yeah stay tuned see you next time Bye. <laughs> Have you got it on video? Yeah. Uh, so this is Pedro, who you all think is so wonderful. He's not. 
I'm much better. <laughs> okay? No, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> okay. So you pervy people, this is Pedro, and now you're jealous because I've got him. He's all mine! <laughs> <laughs> okay, cheers.